Welcome, welcome all my beautiful signs and souls of the Zodiac. Brenda here, Brenda Terrell, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card daily message. I've had a lot of good response and I'm back again doing them. I gave it a couple days off. The last one was October the 31st. So now we're working into our mid-November. So um, thank you very much for your kind comments and your encouragement to continue putting these out there. Please use them together with the shorts and the weeklies and collaborate them together because it works out like an extended read. So let's see what we have here for today uh, November the 9th you have analyzed for your all over energy card here and it says your time is well spent analyzing but only up to where you become too attached to any particular outcome so you know it's your time is well spent right now so to analyze is to break something down into smaller pieces so you can better appreciate how it works as a whole you might be looking into something here as you move through today uh, you may want to try making lists and clicking them off and ticking them off on a to-do list today. Don't overanalyze anything though and don't be obsessive uh, about anything or you know you maybe you're you're creating some self-criticism today uh, that things aren't working out the way that you had wanted them to but this is the universe saying don't do that okay spend your time well analyzing a situation but don't become over obsessed about it. Now you know I do think that you know here we have walking in your garden with the nine of pentacles of prosperity and I love that card but it also says keep your eyes open when you walk in that garden of prosperity there are many trees in that orchard don't don't um, you know uh, deprive yourself of only picking from one tree pick the fruit of all so that today you can see the possibilities of making changes for the better so keep your eyes open you're going to be able to see prosperity coming into you but it might be coming in the form of a different type of opportunity. Don't be afraid. Keep your eyes open because you've got the Two of Swords and the Two of Swords says you might be conflicted. You might feel as though you're drawn into a situation. You might feel as though uh, you can't see a situation in complete clarity and that leaves you analyzing here, really over analyzing the situation. But that's okay as long as you don't over exert yourself here or bring yourself up into your headspace where you think and you worry that something's not going to work out and that's because you need to get more information. Sometimes this refers to a legal situation. You could be dealing with opposing energy where you feel as though you're defending, promoting uh, uh, yourself or something here. You could be, uh, you know, going through a domestic situation or a business situation where you're trying to claim what you deserve. Uh, I think that sometimes mediation sh is imperative here where you retain somebody to come in who's biased, who can come in and help you with this situation. They lay everything fairly out on the table for you to see everything there. Don't fight over every little detail because compromise comes into the equation here with this card as well. And I think once you see everything in complete clarity, you know what you have to gain and the benefits that you can achieve then you'll be able to make this decision uh, appropriately. So keep your eyes open. Realize that you know the goal you're going for here is to be able to have prosperity and walk in that garden of abundance. So getting all the information you need, staying calm today when you're collectively and you are collaborating uh, ideas together, uh, communicating creatively with someone, even if it's someone who is opposing you, keep your cool. Okay, once you analyze the situation and you see it in complete clarity, you're going to be able to move forward with it. Now, this situation may have or could be causing you some grief, some disappointment, some heartache. Uh, maybe this is a broken heart situation. Maybe you're divorcing yourself from a relationship or a situation around you. And, you know, we can often divorce ourselves from situations and people around us that aren't necessarily romantic relationships. So today might be a, a wake-up call for you. You might be, you may have, may have taken time to analyze a situation or a relationship here. And you've come to the conclusion that you want to be happy again. 
You want to move forward in a positive direction. You don't want to be tied down. You don't want to be constantly trying to walk on eggshells and analyze every single thing with the energy that that opposing energy brings around you. So you're healing through it and you're doing all the right things by looking at a situation in complete clarity, seeing it for what it is, where you, you're going to benefit from making a, a decision to move forward in maybe a new direction. So the Three of Swords talks about that, but it also talks about the resolution of healing through it and learning from those experiences so that you can move forward today. Because I think once you do this, you're going to be able to be able to be happy again and feel as though everything's great and you're going to be able to walk in happiness and in peace and, and, and be able to notice how happy you can be again. You know, sometimes these things come in blessings that are unexpected. Uh, we may enable situations around us for a long period of time because it's easier to do that than to make a decision to move away from it, to break free, to, you know, to leave it on a permanent basis because that's always difficult. But you have to think about what's good for you today. Okay, what's going to bring you long term benefits? What's going to bring you to this, to your happiness, to your peace today? And that, my friends, is looking at that situation with complete clarity and realizing that you, the only way you're going to be happy is to let it go. Walk away and heal through it. And anything like this requires forgiveness. And forgiveness is hard because we don't have to forget the, the negative, negative energy that was subjected to us or that we enabled, that was around us, that held us back. But we can choose to forgive and throw it out into the universe because that's the only way you're going to heal through a situation that's left you feeling this way. So forgiveness, it's a hard, it's a hard path to walk when we maybe feel that we've been used and abused and neglected and treated wrong. We don't have to accept that behavior. We never have to walk into that behavior again, but we have to forgive it and we have to throw it out into the universe. So ask the sources that be, what are the deities? What is the strength that you lean into today? And ask the universe, you know, Holy Mother, Father, God, divine loving light of the universe here to take this away from you so that you're free now. You see the situation in clarity and you're free now to walk in your garden of happiness, prosperity, peacefulness, well-being good health all of those elements elements come into this so great reading today i really truly believe that some of you are coming into your own and you're seeing the light in a situation and it's left you feeling disappointed of course it's left you feeling depleted it's left some of you feeling heartbroken but you will heal through this and you will be able to and this is the only way you're going to be able to see yourself clear again and walk through this garden of prosperity so, my beautiful signs and souls of the Zodiac, I wish you nothing more than a beautiful day today. And stay positive. Know that you've got resources here to tap into. You have something coming into you here where you're going to be able to make a right decision. Much love and many blessings. See you soon.